Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Justin and I live in this truck camper full time. I have for about four months now. And I thought with a YouTube channel name like Truck Camper Exploring, I should give you guys a tour of my truck camper. So this is called a Host Cascade. The uh, brand is Host. The model that I chose is the Cascade. And I think we'll uh, begin the tour outside. Okay, before I talk more about the camper, I'll talk about the truck just a little bit. Uh, you need a one ton pickup truck to hold the weight of a Host camper. This is a Ford F350. It's the Dually. Uh, eight foot bed. Obviously I went with the crew cab just to have more room. Um, so yeah, show you what I did to the back seat. Here's the front seat area. Not much to say about that, pretty basic. But the back seat, I took the back seats out and I built this little shelf system just so I could obviously put more stuff in here. But back here, I keep my uh, my e-bike. I went with this brand. This is electric because it folds. Um, it's nice and out of the way. I keep, these are my uh, jacks for the camper. So I've got four jacks. And then I also have a generator back here. Here's a view from the other side. So the bike sits in here nice and neat. Generator shelf all right here's what it looks like from the front mine's very dirty i actually do clean it all the time but it gets dirty quickly again uh, the brand is host and cascade is the model that i went with uh you've got this main awning up top which i haven't actually ever used and then it's got auto deploying awnings on both sides and those auto deploy when you slide the slides out. Two windows on this side. This is my propane. I've got two 40 pound propane tanks. Um, my refrigerator runs off propane or electricity. My furnace also runs off propane. And um, I think that's it. Oh, hot water also runs off propane so that's there it's kind of a pain to get in here though because the tanks are quite heavy when they're full and that's obviously pretty high up so when you get a truck camper you have to have these things in place on all four sides these are called tie downs i went with the torque lift versions and i've got a lock that's a lock so nobody can take it um, these are called torque lift fast guns they um, hold the camper to the tie downs. Again, I put locks on all of them. And the only other modification that I've made, I don't know if you can see it in the video here, are th these. These are called torque lift upper stable loads. And I've got uh, those on both sides of the truck. It makes for a smoother ride. All right, this compartment here is basically I just keep water hoses in there, water filters, you can put anything you want in there. This is for your sewage hose, which I don't use. I'll talk more about that later. So these here are where your jacks go. I think they get in the way, so I remove mine. My camper stays on here full time, so yeah, I don't need the jacks to be on there. These are my stairs. You just pull up and out. Comes down really easily. This is one of my favorite features of the truck camper. Some people call it a basement. Some people call it the morgue, but uh, just more storage area. This is also how you access the batteries and a lot of the plumbing. But uh, flip the switch here and this whole thing comes out. And uh, it goes back pretty far, actually. I could remove some things, but I'm not going to. So yeah, this is a fun feature. Okay, there's two ways to get on the roof. One is from the inside, which I'll show you in a minute. And the other way is this ladder here. It's a little tricky to do, but it's not too hard. All right, you got various lights out here, porch lights. 
I've got a backup camera there. If you're wondering what my stickers are, scuba diver, caver, cave diver. And I love this sticker. It's a Grateful Dead. He's dirty with another cave dive arrow in there. It's fun. So this is how you drain the gray tank. You just pull this out. Once you have this open, and this is how you do your black. Again, just remove this and pull that out. I actually don't have a black tank and I'll talk more about that here in a minute. All right, this compartment here is how you access your hot water heater. All that, and this is more storage. Got the, my leveling blocks in here, electrical cords, things like that. You can also hook up an outdoor shower here. Got hot or cold, uh, 110 electric. This is how you turn your jacks on. That's the power for that. What is this? That's for outdoor TV, which I don't use. But that goes back pretty far. It's quite a bit of storage. This is a custom vent that I installed for my composting toilet. It's a nice window there. All the windows have screens on them except for one, which is pretty cool. And again, it's got the uh, awning that auto deploys when you pull the slides out. Okay, again, she's really dirty. I'm in the desert in Arizona. But uh, to get inside the camper, you need to um, move the slides out, or at least this slide you have to move out. And to do that, there's just a little switch down here. There's one and then the other side. Cool. All right, both slides are out and that's what this, here's what that looks like. Obviously you wouldn't want to drive down the road that way and you can see that the uh, awnings both auto deployed that keeps the rain off. you're wondering where I am, give you a quick little. That's Picket Post Mountain out there. Climbed that yesterday, it was fun. Yeah, great spot. Just me and the coyotes and the road runners. As you come up the stairs, here are the controls. That's your uh, battery disconnect, your uh, passenger and driver slide in and out, entry light, and your awning is controlled there. That's a carbon monoxide detector. And I've got, uh, I'm gonna turn the lights on here. Pantries. Pretty good pantry system, holds quite a bit. LED lights on the ceiling. Microwave, stove, oven. And you can choose not to have uh, some of these things. Like for the oven, for example, you can choose to have this as storage. All of the drawers in the uh, host campers have these little knobs you push in. That way they, the drawers don't come out when you're traveling. So you just pull this out. I've got a little piece of Velcro here, silverware drawer. And you can lift this out. And there's quite a bit of storage here. That's a decent sized space. Underneath the sink, you've got your hot water controller. More storage. Again, this is pretty deep. 
goes all the way to the back there. Got two drawers here. Again with the knobs. The sink here, you have this, um, I guess you could call it a cutting board. I don't actually cut stuff on here. I have a separate cutting board for that. But you can place groceries on here. It's a flat, you know, workspace or whatever. Um, I installed this myself. And I've got these little command hooks everywhere to hold things. If you remove these, you've got a real deep sink here. I love the sink actually. This moves around the sprayer. You got little knobs on the side here. You can have it in this mode or this mode. This is what the kitchen window looks like. And on the ceiling, you've got more 110 outlets, another light. More storage. Okay, moving on. That's my family. Um, refrigerator, full-size fridge, lots of room, multiple drawers, and a big freezer as well. Very happy with the refrigerator, very happy. All right, moving on. This is my trash can. More storage on the end tables here. Got two of those. Every window has, you can pull down a shade screen or just black it out completely. All right, you got more storage up here. These are nice to have. These cloth collapsible storage bins. I recommend those. This is my recliner. Pull this little lever here and it goes in. Well, I'll just do it. Goes into recliner mode. They gave you a nice mirror. This is the bedroom. Here's how you turn the lights on. Queen size bed. So that's a closet number one. Real deep closet. Goes all the way back there. So I'm pretty happy with the closets. And on that side, um, that whole thing is also a closet. You just slide the, uh, to the doors open. I won't open that. There's some storage up there. I've got some hats hanging up there. But they also give you another 110 outlet and a place to hook up a TV. Um, this is for the air conditioner. This is the escape hatch, which I have open right now to let air through. So you've got a screen here to keep the bugs out. And then you've got another screen if you want it dark. So earlier when I said that there's two ways to get on the roof, one is the ladder from the outside, this is the second way. So this is how you would leave if there's a fire or whatever. And 90% um, of the time when I go on the roof, this is the way I go here. So you got a little uh, shelf back here. You got a 110 outlet there, another 110 over there, two LED lights, both of those swivel and have USB outlets on them. All right, I'll show you what the roof looks like. Okay, here's the dining room area. This uh, can be made flat to go into bed mode 
which I never do. This table here is nice and adjustable. It's called a high-low table. So it can go in and out, all kinds of different directions, including down. It's pretty cool. I like this a lot. Um, I don't drink the fresh water from my tanks. I drink it out of that exclusively. Um, that's my router for my Starlink internet. If you follow the line, it goes up and out to that hatch right there. That's your air conditioner. It comes with a remote. TV. And I put it on a little swivel so I can pull it out. Pull it over there. Or over in this position so I can lay in bed and watch it. But that's all customizable. More charging places. Old Mandalorian. This is a fun feature. This is a fireplace. I'm not going to turn it on right now because it's really hot outside. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I love the fireplace. It's great. And then above here, this is how you check your fresh water and your black and gray tanks. This is a fuse box, porch light, area light, awning light. Over here you have bathroom light. This is your battery monitoring area. I'm at 86% and it's flashing. Means that the battery is charging. And here's a door to get into the bathroom. You can close this off completely if you want. All right. I never do because I'm by myself. But um, composting toilet uh, so i added this this came with a regular uh, rv toilet i took that out and installed this airhead composting toilet and uh, i'm glad i did i like that much better than the uh than the one that came with the camper um i can talk more about that later maybe but here's your medicine cabinet or whatever I put seat belts on all my stuff because when you drive around, this stuff will go everywhere if you don't have little seat belts on them. So just little bungees. Sink, towel. I installed this little soap dispenser. Um, this is the only window, I love this window though, that doesn't have a screen on it. So this one does not open. Still has the shades. Yeah, I look out this window a lot. More storage. It goes all the way back there. You can put a lot of stuff in there. And here is the shower. It's got a skylight. This is movable. I installed this. But I've got um, things in here right now. My broom, my mat. So you have to, unfortunately, I have to remove all that stuff every time I take a shower. But that's not, not uh, a pain in the butt. But it's a nice tall shower. I really like the shower. Towel, towel rack. This is how you close the shower. Keeps everything dry. I like having the shower separate from the toilet. So this is called a dry bath and as opposed to a wet bath where the toilet is uh, in with the shower. So that was a huge selling point for me. All right, still in the bathroom, you have another skylight and a fan so you can uh, get some airflow through here. And back in the kitchen, there's also a fan here so you can suck out cooking smells or whatever i have it open pretty much all the time because my air conditioner is not working and it's hot in the desert there is your furnace controller some more switches not really important what those are all right easiest way to get on the roof is a step ladder a little step stool put that out like that
All right, I'm on the roof now. So you can get through this without the step ladder, like if there was a fire, but it would be pretty awkward. Um, so yeah, I bought the step ladder just to make that way easier. But on here, or up here rather, I've got four solar panels. I chose the off-grid extreme package with my camper because I, I boondock 99% of the time and uh, I don't have to go to a campground to, to plug in for electricity. These four solar panels and my three lithium batteries do a pretty good job of uh, giving me power. That's my air conditioner right there. That is the skylight and vent for the bathroom. That's the skylight for the shower. And that's the vent for the kitchen. And this is my internet, my Starlink uh, satellite dish. I just deploy that out the hatch. Obviously, I don't drive with it up there, but uh, when I get to wherever I'm going, I just open up my hatch and stick this on the roof, and boom, got the internet wherever I go. I can be out in the middle of nowhere and uh, have Wi-Fi. It's pretty awesome. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments.